Ladies and gentlemen, I woke up today, you know, normal. Got on Twitter after a little bit and I seen a tweet posted by Shams 14 minutes ago at the time. And it said, Wes Sunsell Jr. has been let go. Well, not let go necessarily, but he will no longer be the head coach of the Washington Wizards. He'll be moving to a front office role. In my eyes, you might as well have said he's been let go because it ain't matter to me. As long as the man is not my head coach of my Washington Wizards, I'm completely fine with that. So today I have been pleasantly surprised. I did not expect this mid-season move to happen. The Wizards typically don't fire their head coaches in the middle of the season. Typically, this may be more of an off-season thing, but it happened in the middle of the season. After the, you know, they, they kind of locked up in the top five of the lottery. They got seven wins, 36 losses. They're kind of locked down for top five lottery. So, you lose, get your lottery spot secured, West. I guess out of respect, I don't know. Maybe to say, I don't, I have no idea. Go over to the front office, man. If it was me, hit the road, Jack. If it was me personally. But they want to be nice about it. Maybe they like the guy, etc. I mean, I'm sure he's a good man. So, in totality, what's Sun Sale Jr. as the coach of the Washington Wizards? I'm not going to sit here and act like I wasn't excited about the hire when it happened at the time. I was ecstatic. When the Wizards signed West Sunsell Jr. I believe I made a video at the time calling it a home run coaching pick. I was wrong. I lied. I was incorrect. I deceived y'all. I bamboozled y'all. I was wrong. It's okay to admit you're wrong. Um, West Sunsell Jr., 77 and 130 as the coach of the Washington Wizards. Um, had I think what he'll be remembered for the most as the Wizards head coach is 100% that 35 or whatever point blown lead to the Celtics. I mean, not to the Celtics, the Clippers. I'll never forget that game. That was a crazy night. I believe it was 35 points. I know it was like the second largest comeback um, in NBA history. And that was just a bigger portion of a smaller issue because... The Wizards will go on to lose and blow multiple 20-point game leads, etc. In-game adjustments would be poor. It, it, it just it was it was just bad with West, man. It was bad. There was always, it seemed like some kind of issues with, I don't know if it was but just what the players were asked to do, what kind of identity they was they wanted to be. It just never came to fruition. Um it was always common themes. The Wizards blowing leads. The Wizards struggling on the defensive end. The offensive end having little to no identity. Just it was all it was all bad. It was really all bad. Um, I don't really have any positives to list about this West Sunset Junior era. I got a lot of pictures. I got a big thread on my Twitter of all the record breaking and you know the last time this happened. Etc. I have a whole thread about it under the West Sunset Jr. era. Thank God that that thread is finally permanently closed and it will not be reopening. You know, so um, in the meantime, uh, the Wizards are going to be bringing up and calling up a new interim coach. They're going to look for a new permanent coach in the off season. But for right now, Brian Keefe, uh, I don't know. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Sorry if I'm not. He is going to be the new interim coach for the rest of the season. Um, he has been an assistant coach with um, the Oklahoma City Thunder from 2007 to 2015. So maybe there's some connection there, that Thunder connection maybe. I not. I don't know what the timelines are um, in that regard. But um, hopefully, I, I would like to see what Brian has. I don't know if he'll end up working his way to a full-time position, similarly to what Antonio Pierce did with the Las Vegas Raiders, um, being the interim and then ended up being the full-time coach because he did so well and the team played so well. But, you know, at the end of the day, this roster is flawed, heavily flawed. So it's, it's not that much more different as far as the win-loss column that I'm going to be seeing. The, the roster is just too flawed. But, you know, maybe the energies will be different. Maybe... 
offensively or defensively, the energy will be different. Who knows? We'll see when that time comes. So, I mean, for Brian, Mr. Brian, take advantage of the opportunity while it's there um, and see what he has. You know, I'm not opposed to it. But as far as Will Dawkins, Michael Winger, et cetera, um, I love it. I, you know, I love what they've done. I love what they are doing here. I like the move they made for Marvin Bagley, who just had like, what, 17 and 15 or something game last night. That's like his third double-double on this team. Um, got two back-to-back -back when he was starting. Then got another one tonight. Uh, I mean, last night. I'm sorry. So, I, I like what they've been doing, man. This is this is a very out-of-the-norm move for the Wizards. I was not expecting West to be let go in the middle of this season. Um, we still have the trade deadline coming up. So, there could possibly be more moves on the way. But, man, I know a lot of Wizards fans have been waiting for this day. Similarly to Scott Brooks. For the day that we could say... This guy's gone. He's out of here. He's no longer the head coach of our basketball team. You know, um, it's been a long time coming. I'm happy. I love it. And another good move. Another good move from Will Dawkins and company. Keep it up. West, uh, it was a good run, man. I'm joking when I say that. It was a run uh, as a head coach. Um, it was definitely a run of, of being a head coach for the Washington Wizards. Um, I, you know, I, for, for his sake, it's not like he's getting fired. Um, maybe he, maybe they, they make this like a promotion in a way for him. I don't know. So the man keeps his, keeps being around the organization. Um, so good for him on that part. But as far as head coach, no mas. No mas, man. No mas. And I love that. Um, let me know how you guys feel in the comment section. I know you guys have a lot of thoughts about this. Um, let me know some uh, coaching suggestions. Who you think should be the potential coach next season for this basketball team? Um, it's been a good Thursday morning, guys. A good Thursday morning. Uh, that's all I got for you. Just wanted to make a quick video. I had to make a quick video on this. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.